All right, so two of them didn't come out. This guy here on the driver's side, passenger side, second bank didn't come out. And the one way in the back, number, yep, over there didn't come out. So, yep. So, yeah. So I got to dig them two out and got the rail over here upside down. It was, uh, get it off from underneath this side first, the driver's side, and then we let off from underneath this harness here on this side. So, yep. Let me dig those out, blow this all out again. Because it looks like to me there's a lot of debris st still in there. Mm. And you really don't want it to go down the cylinders, but you know what? You can do what you can do. You can do what you can do. Alright, so. We have all the old ones in the box to return them. All uh, the new remanufactured ones are on. So they're all on there good. Important to make sure that... The little clips are underneath, underneath there, if you can see that, all the way along. And both sides, of course, you know. Yep. Make sure they're all on there. Yep, and this is what I use to lube the rubber o-rings up. I put a little bit around here each one of these guys and so when I go to put it in there it slides down in there easily so now we gotta wiggle this back in underneath that harness. I blew it already out so just gotta wiggle it back underneath there and try to wake them back down into the uh, the ports. Yep but uh, I blew it out really good and clean as guess as I can I mean, a dirty old engine, so. Yep, that's how it works. Alright, so I took this, slid it down underneath this side, all the way back as far as I could. And then I lifted it up underneath this and slid it down in there. So now she's in. <clears throat> where she belongs down in there and you got to make sure that you are careful with it all because you want to get it down in there nice so so now you can put your screws start your screws so she stays nice and lined up you know what I'm saying know what I mean know what I mean know what I mean That one's lined up in the hole so it won't bounce out. <coughs> you know what I mean? And then, <coughs> come over to this guy. Make sure she's down, down in the in this spots all the way along. <sighs> yep. And you get them two screws in there. And give her a little tap with a rubber hammer or something on the top to make sure they seat if you like or you can just tighten them up now, it probably would have been easier to get the spark <coughs> spark plugs at least the back one out when I had this out this had this out of here but I don't want to get the spark plug hole wire stuff spark plug hole. spark plug holes there I don't want that stuff when I start to, to jar in it to get down in the injector so it's best to do one thing at a time not trying to do two things at the same time because sometimes it just don't go like you want it to go you know what I mean 
So <clears throat> we are going to tighten up these guys. them guys Tighten up them guys almost got them done We have that part of it done. Now we are right at it and you're messing around with the fuel. I recommend you just get right over there and plug that fuel line in. Put it in, put your safety on it. That way that way you have the fuel all in. Got them all in. There we go. They're all down in nice and pretty. I can look at them all. They're all nice and pretty. Okay. What you can do right now is you can run your injector harness plugs. Oop. Plug them in. So that way you know that you've done that. That's out of the way. Because sometimes you get them coils back in there. You get them coils back in. And then you can't get to the stuff. You can't get to the stuff. And then it's, oh no. Oh no. Where's that O-ring? I knew it came out of that one. Old old injector. I noticed it was not in there when I was taking it apart, so. Okay. That one's on. That real son of gun in the back. Wow. You get these coils in there and then it's just like holy cows. Okay, you got the locks on. Got plugged on and locks on. Done there. You can always put nice little connectors back in there. So I think this side's done. Looks good. Now, this side, look at your injectors and make sure they all look like they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be. Like they're supposed to be. Like they're supposed to be. Okay, you can swing your injectors, harness it back over. Put them all in there. Like they're supposed to be. Like they're supposed to be. Clip them and lock them. Clip them and lock them. There we are. There's two more to go somewhere. Anybody seen them? That might get the shot. There they are. I put them back over here out of the way. That's another. That's that one that's really hard to get to. So it's best to. Okay, locked, clipped, locked. Locked and clipped. All right. That is all set. That is all set. Now, you can plug all your connectors back in that you had to unplug to do that. Okay. Quite a few of them. I unplugged way too many stuff, but I needed to make sure that uh, I had enough <clears throat> enough room. I had to disconnect the coolant sensor and you name it. I'm sure, all the locks are in. I disconnect the alternator here because I needed that extra little bit of room. Yep. So it looks like the only thing I have left that's not been disturbed 
<coughs> is the uh, coils. <coughs> so everything else has been plugged back in. I can get the shots. Get the shots. All right, I can put this cap on because I am as far as I'm done with that. Well, that's for my air thing for my air box. All right, so I'm gonna get uh, crack a lack and then uh, that should be put back in tube this tube here, but I'm gonna hold off on that guy mainly because it gives me more access to the coils. All right, that's pretty much it. It it, it to uh, do injectors. The other side, I'll show you about the coil the spark plugs. I've already done the spark plugs down here, but it looks like to me we need some spark plugs up there. So got them coils all over there, so we can return that. The fuel line connector I used was this one. That's the guy I used. Disconnect the fuel line. So, and it was the smaller one. The smaller fitting. One's 5 sixteenths and one's 3 eighths. Oh, I didn't show. The injectors that we put in there. This is what we're using. There's the part number. Well, get a little bit of sprinkles for the last. Uh, Past few hours here, hour and a half, two hours, two and a half. Some keep speaking in though, if you can get the shots. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I got going on. I'm gonna go turn the stereo off because YouTube just whines, they so whine about this music in the background. So I kind of cut out all the music because it's supposed to be copyright, but they always send me this that uh yeah so i'll bring it right back here in a second